people of the past, don't panic. We're from the future and we're losing a war to a bunch of aliens who can't shoot anything besides spikes. And we need your help. All right, I'm from the future, okay? In the future, we're fighting a alien species that is just hell bent on destroying everything on this planet that you hold near and dear to your heart. Fight these aliens in the future, in 30 years from now, when we fight them. 30 years, the advance of technology and everything like that. We were using eight inch AR-15s as our main weapon to fight off giant aliens. All right, now I know that may sound crazy, at which point you will then most likely be torn to shreds by a hungry foreign space alien. All right, any questions at this time? Hi, uh, you guys have no pictures, no intel on how these things work and operate. You're just gonna drop us off into the future. Uh, hey, really good question. Fantastic question to ask your federal government, and we would love to be fully transparent on that. But let me go ahead and circle back on that one. All right, uh, uh, you, sir. Uh, hi, yeah, so glossed over it quickly, but like no mech suits or anything like that. Like no armor, you just drop us in willy nilly uh, with just a, a shitty AR to fight scary space lanes that are super fast and uh, scary. Also, another good question. I'll circle back. I'll circle back on all of these. Thank you. Your concerns are heard and appreciated future soldiers okay all right we're all gonna die <laughs> It's a movie, it's Hollywood, so nothing really matters, but it's fun. And we can meme it on YouTube and it gives me something to talk about and fill up space while you're on the toilet. If you're on the toilet watching this, feel free to like and subscribe with a comment in the comment section down below. They are a sacrifice to the algorithm God, which I do appreciate greatly. How smooth of a transition is that to uh, me talking about the channel and breaking the fourth wall while you're existing and watching this? Wow. On you. <sighs> All right. So before we dive into the gun, we're gonna go over the gear real quick. So gear for this video wasn't too extravagant. We're just going, uh, my belt, just because we're going for the Chris Pratt look from the Tomorrow War. So, uh, going over the belt real quick, which I may have briefly done in a previous video, but sometimes we get new folks in here. So it's always beneficial to cover the gear real quick. So, for belt, I am rocking a Cry Riggers belt. I have two ghetto rigged uh, HSGI taco pouches with an S-Tac kangaroo style pouch with a pistol pouch on front with a rifle mag. Uh, it has loops for a harness, or like a shoulder harness if you wanna run it on this. I just run it how it is essentially, and then I have my gloves. Then I got my Safari Land holster over here, compatible with the red dot with the QLS and then a T-Rex arms, leg sling. Anyway, so pretty simple setup, nothing too crazy for this video. We're just going for the uh, <laughs> Tomorrow War meme. All right, let's go over the uh, gun. It's 2050 something. Your, world's, your, your world needs you to fight off giant, al well, medium-sized aliens that shoot spikes and eat people in the future. But, well, the future world needs you. Not the, not, not the, this, this world now doesn't need you. The future world will need you. We're gonna send you to the future to fight aliens. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the Talking Ball of Clava. Today we're going over uh, kind of a meme in the gun community right now. And that is the gun setup from the Tomorrow War. Now this, as usual, isn't a perfect <laughs> clone of the Tomorrow War gun. What this is is, is the, um, Shot in the dark, closest impersonation that I could get to it with my available resources to 
the gun of the Tomorrow War. It's a big shout out to Area 15 for helping me get all this gun set up. They help me real quick in a pinch. They do a lot of good Cerakote work if you're over here a local in Arizona and want any Cerakote work done. So good shout out to them. Thanks for helping me build this gun out. So what this gun is essentially, we'll go over the gun real quick and we'll kind of go over background of the Tamar War. If you're totally unfamiliar with it, then we'll dive into it. So real quick, starting with the sling, uh, this is a HSP sling. Rocking that because of the clone father uh, and his biomechanics, all right? And then, so what this gun is, I believe this gun is gonna be a, so the, it should be a quit and defense lower on a spikes upper, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, but it's, at this point, it's all a meme with a flaming pig style amplifier or moderator over here. This, I don't know if it's a Noveski flaming pig or if it's something else, I can't find any branding on it. I truly can't remember, but we're going with that look. I think in the movie, they use something a little bit different. They may have used something, um, uh, something else, but then, what Whatever. So then you have the Enforce uh, WML up here with all the lumens, and then you have your Trigicon ACOG. I went with the offset H1 on air socket mount, and then we have, of course, the iconic Hera Arms furniture. <laughs> Nothing, nothing against Hera Arms, it's just it's Hera Arms, and that sentence kind of makes sense if you know. Uh, they don't do anything wrong besides that. I kind of get shit on in the gun community. If you're like, man, that furniture looks really cool, then it's like, hey, you know what? Hera Arms exists just for you. So why is this gun even worth bringing up in the video? Well, in particular, this gun um, kind of became a meme within the gun community pretty quick. I believe it was Sons of Liberty Gun Works. They talked about how like a, a future soldier walks into a gun store and it's like, hey, I'm fighting aliens. And he's like, okay, cool. What kind of aliens? Like, ah, oh, they're they're big scary aliens that eat people, and it's like, oh, okay, so you may want like a heavy caliber to stop them. And like, yeah, they're up armored. And it's like, well, we want five, five, six, and it's like, okay, do you want like a twenty inch? Nope, shortest barrel you got. <laughs> so it's like when you go down the build list of this gun for what you want to trying to do, it's like the worst gun for that job. It's like you got a, a loudener on your gun, you have a a short bit, like you want a short package, but you have the longest stock possible you could put on it. You for whatever reason have a uh, an egg hog on here with an offset red dot, even though your barrel's like eight inches or seven inches with the worst terminal ballistics ever. So all in all, it became like a big old meme within the gun community. I, I only read it off in the movie. I was like, do they figure out some sort of technology in the future to make ARs better? Then you just gotta logically think through that and it's like, no, they never even talk about it. Here's your shitty AR, go fight aliens in the future. You'll be dead in 10 years anyway. So that works out with the space time continuum. I'm Ben Dover with LARP News Network, the news you can trust about all things LARP. This week in the gun community, controversy astir with nothing, question mark? Our next sponsor is brought to you by Acre Gold. For all your gold concerns and needs, hit up Acre Gold. I like the sponsor because what this is, is like it allowed me all like the, the, like the metal collectors and then all the uh, crypto boys and the, like the different currency type people can argue down below which one they like. And either way, it's just they're going to sponsor part of this video, so... Uh, Thanks, Acre. A lot of fallacies going on. I'm a big sci-fi nerd, big sci-fi fan. So when you like really think about and break down that movie, it's kind of it had we it had weird parallels to like uh, Starship Troopers, Alien with the Xenomorphs. Because I don't want to spoil anything, but the movie's been out for a little bit. But if you haven't seen it, then funny watch. I mean, in the end, they kind of redeem themselves a little bit. He has a 338 Lapua semi-automatic rifle, and I was like, okay, somebody, somebody figured it out. And then they also run like 10-3 URGIs, which I still would. If I'm fighting aliens like that, I don't want a tactical gun. I want like a big old beefy battle rifle. Literally anything besides short-barreled AR-15s. Those aren't what you want to use. Those are like a very short-barreled AR-15s are a very surgeon tool and, and they work for application. I mean, they can work in general applications technically, but how they're used is kind of like they get overused by everybody. Because I think in my opinion, yet again, so we're diving into the opinion piece of this, in my opinion, you'll see a lot of guys who are like, oh, I want a 10-3 or a 10-5 because SOCOM runs it and they have it suppressed and they're using it for all their door kicking raids. And it's like, well, yes, that's SOCOM. There's a reason they're using it because they are having a certain mission application for that set up and rifle. Now, for as far as this goes, is like, I would never recommend this, but this is always like a funny meme. But for like real life, you're like, oh, what barrel length should I get? It's like, I wouldn't go shorter than 11.5. I'm technically a hypocrite on this because for the Blood Diamond build here at my channel, I did a 10.5, but I was doing for like the movie specs. But hey, listen, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. So don't you dare worry about it. This is just all one man's opinion on YouTube, of which does not matter. So do whatever you want. Uh, as long as you're not hurting anybody. The gun, is it fun to shoot? Yeah, it's a gun. I mean, all guns are pretty much fun to shoot. It's actually kind of fun to rock it. It really, it weirdly, I will give it this setup, I, I will give it something. It weirdly is very ergonomic. That's what the Hair Arms furniture is good at, is the ergos are <laughs> stupidly kind of good. Like, it, it feels solid in the hands, like good recoil control, stuff like that. I mean, it's a, you have those big furniture and a small package that an innuendo at all. I don't know. It is ridiculous when you start critical thinking it through and you're like, well, who? 
who in the set design and who in the prop design was like, yes, that's a future gun if I ever saw one. It's like, I'd, I'd take an M16, like a Vietnam era M16 over this setup uh, if I'm fighting space aliens from the future, which how they went about the whole thing is, is awful if you ask me. Literally, if I was in charge and they came back, they're like, we're from the future, we need help. I'd be like, hey, sucks for you. I'm not sending anybody to the future. It sounds like gross misconduct by your federal government to send your loved ones to the future. All right, hey, your mom's going off to fight aliens in the future. Wish her luck. I'd be like, whoa, 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 hey, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, as far as the tactics of the movie go, as far as like the setups of the guns, they really, they, they kind of redeem themselves at the end a little bit, but even still, it's like, oh my God, really? I mean, I would like not send anybody to the future and I'd just maybe set up mech suits for in 2050 if I didn't figure out how they figured it out in the end. I don't want to spoil it. Kill area around where they come out of in Russia and not even bother with the future. One man has to go to the future to save the past. This summer, starring Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec. Do you ever use this to clean your guns? I think I'm an archaeologist. All right, I think that covers everything. So uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up and get on out of here. We'll boot scoot and boogie. Gentlemen, hey, if you enjoy this channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. YouTube things. Check out the Patreon. Go to the website, merchandise, stuff like that. Help support the channel and keeps the lights on. Have a good one. I'll catch you all on the flip, and I'll see you in the future. Scrum.